Hello everybody, um, my name's Robbie. This is just a, a quick testimony of how I um, came to Christ. Um, yeah, so just starting off when I was younger, I was, um, yeah, we, we didn't go to church. Um, might have been for the odd wedding with my um, with my mum and dad, but um, I wasn't brought up a Christian. It was, um, you know, it was, it was when um, I got a bit older maybe, um, that um, I start to get the questions but I do remember praying at, at school we used to have a, a teacher called Mr Romano um, I, I think he was a he was a tall bloke um, you know I used to think he was about eight foot tall he had big bushy curly hair as well um, but it's probably because I was so small uh, that he seemed so tall but I do remember him sitting us down in assembly and we were praying like this um, but even though it wasn't a church school, um, it wasn't a Church of England school, nothing like that. But that was my sort of earliest sort of memory, I think, of, of praying. Um, and when I got to a teenager, um, you know, the, the sort of typical teenage stuff, um, you know, well, I kind of say that. I hope it isn't uh, typical for my children, but it was, a, uh, you know, just just sort of like going out and, um, and drinking and and all these different things um there was sort of like a, a group of us about six six group of lads we were quite close knit we, we you know we were together since nursery and that was the thing every saturday we used to go out drinking and um you know talking from early ages 14 and uh, we were trying to get into the pubs and we did we started to get into the pubs um so yeah that was a at the time it didn't seem out of the ordinary to me um um, I, I do think it was like kind of like masking a few things, um, stuff that I sort of struggled with growing up, um, you know, stuff that maybe was um, kind of, you know, sort of deep rooted sort of things. But um, but yeah, so that was kind of it up until you know sixteen. It was it was always about the drinking and going out and. Um, working as well working even 14 washing cars and we could spend our money you know we'd have a blow at all the mcdonald's or we'd uh hopefully save some for the night out um but yeah i kind of like you know left school and went straight into sort of work um worked at a supermarket and was there for for three years absolutely you know i loved it and um, but i used to love helping the elderly people uh, doing the shopping and um that led to me look for a career in the, in the care sector and I got a job as a healthcare assistant, something which I completely loved again, I loved doing that. Um, it was a big shock for me because um, when you're 19 and uh, if anyone knows lads, you know, you're still not sort of uh, mature really at 19, but that, so that was a big eye opener that was. And then one thing led to another, and I managed to get onto a, um, a nursing course, did my nursing course. Um, but throughout all of this, I really, really struggled. I was so shy. I was, um, yeah, I was just so timid. I was, um, I was almost like sorry for breathing. Um, it was that bad, you know. So I really struggled, really struggled badly with confidence because things that were said to me over the years, you know, I, I, I kind of took on and I believed it. And, uh, you know, there were, there were, there were obviously, there were things that weren't true, but, you know, you know, um, lads can, can be sensitive as well. And, and um, you know, I just, yeah, so it was a real, real struggle, but, I, you know, I qualified as a nurse. It was so, so brilliant. And, you know, I was thinking that, yeah, I've kind of made it now. You know, I was on sort of like, you know, uh, the, the sort of best ways that I've been and, you know, and still, but I was still going out. I was still doing all these, these things with my mates, uh, drinking, every going out to the nightclubs, all that. You know, it was, um, it was all the time. It was almost like a, like a double life almost, you know, it's lovely sort of job in the day and, and that, but yeah, and going out and sort of like doing what I wanted. Um, but yeah, so, you know, it was just so, such so different really. Um, but you know, sort of like one thing led to another. Um, that um, you know, I, I went into district nursing. Um, I got this sort of like you know the the, the f I used to love my cars. I mean, um, I had the white baseball cap on back in the day, the big exhaust, the big wheels. 
Um, I always say if the mother-in-law saw me, she'd definitely chase me down the street back then. Um, but she still does now, so it's okay. There's no change. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, that, that was it. I got this 25, uh, got into district nursing, got this big flash white Audi. It was supercharged, big wheels, like all like sport S lines stamped in it in the seats and everything, you know, big leather bucket seats. And I thought, you know, I thought I'd made it, but there was still something sort of like missing inside of me. I suppose it's that, that kind of God shaped hole. And, uh, you know, still, just something wasn't right. Um, you know, I still I was still struggling with with anxiety and and just yeah, just low confidence and things like that. Even though I had the fake tan as well to go with the white Audi, um, but yeah, you know, I just yeah, it was only sort of like when I had a drink, so to speak, that that sort of anxiety and that that worry left. Um, but I did struggle with the fact of um, of there being a god. Um, maybe from past experiences, um, things you see as well as things that I saw in nursing and different things, and I just had a lot of questions, a lot of questions, um, and I kind of I think my my heart was definitely kind of hardened if you like, um, but one night out I went out, wasn't supposed to go out, went to a a nightclub, it wasn't the best really, but um, you know, met this lovely girl there, who's uh, now my wife, Claire, you know, the type of place where you wouldn't meet your wife, but uh, <laughs> you wouldn't meet your husband neither, <laughs> but anyway, praise God, we, uh, you know, we, we, we met and she offered to buy me a drink and, you know, I'm still waiting for this drink eight years later, but uh, that's a whole other story um, and hopefully she'll forgive me when, when, when she sees this. Um, but yeah, I just fell in love straight away. She's just so beautiful, and you know, and you know, eventually, you know, I asked her to marry me. I said, well, you know, will you marry me? And she said, um, yeah, but we've got to start going to church. And I went, no, no, uh, I want to go. I want to watch the football. You know, I want to watch Chelsea. Chelsea are on. Uh, I like having a pint. You know, uh, I even wanted to watch Man United. Anything to not go to church. You know, because. Um, I was kind of like you know against it really. I just phew, just wasn't wasn't for me. Um, but then I thought, well, I do want to marry her, so I best I'd go. <laughs> and so we started going, and um, you know that's when I started to hear the truth. Um, you know, the truth that I've ne you know I've never heard it before. Um, you know, the the simple gospel of you if you like, but. You know how magnificent um, it was, and what Jesus has done for me. That He took uh, all my uh, all my wrongs, and you know all my anxieties and pain, and that, that you know that, that that being timid and scared almost of me, you know, of my own shadow. He He took that away and um, took it to the cross, and He gave me give me an exchange and a, you know he, he give me him um you know i had so many questions i did the alpha course it was at an anglican church with gordon and georgina and uh, there were the vicars there they were both lovely um very patient um because with me it wasn't an instant transformation it was almost like a, a seed a slow seed that was really just growing inside of me um, a lot of questions that i had like like betting like I'd always I'd love betting I sort of grew up with betting um did it when I was younger did it at school me and my mate used to get the racing post and pick out our horses and I'd go and put a different tie on and go to the bookies and put our accumulators on that was our like maths lesson if you like you know it was something that I kind of knew and they were just yeah just questions real questions and you know and about suffering as well things that I'd seen and almost like things that were like said to me and just you know it was just so difficult um but they were patient kind gentle and you know and I, I remember sort of like giving my life to the lord and but it was like on my own it was um i was having a shave because i didn't have a beard then i was having a shave and i just remember just dropping me she was in the bathroom just dropping my shave and just saying you know god i i can't do this life without you i just cannot do it i just i need you 
come into my life. And, from, you know, from that day forward, everything changed. And, you know, just that real sort of, sort of journey, real journey it's been with God. And then he called us out of Moulton. Um, you know, I remember to, 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 a, to a house that was near the Stronghold Church, not far away. I didn't know the Stronghold was there then. And I remember thinking, oh, no, I never, you know, Claire won't leave Moulton because, you know, if anyone knows Moulton, it's, you know, once you're in, you never get out. But it's it's a lovely village, by the way, and I, I was in the Moulton pull as well, you know. And um, so, yeah, uh, but we did. We, you know, we, we came, we had a lovely little baby, little girl, and we were a bit lost at the time spiritually because we had no church as um, Gordon and Georgina had retired. And, you know, we were just like sort of seeking... And I remember God giving me like this, driving around Weaverham and he said, I want you to go here. And I looked over the road and it was a stronghold church, but I didn't know it was a stronghold church. It looked like um, a bungalow to me, like somebody's house, because I didn't even, all I thought churches were, 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 were stained glass windows, you know, and, 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 and spires. Um, I, I, I just didn't understand it. And um, so I Googled it and, you know, wow. Just talking about what second guessing God, eh? That's really, you know, I should really, but uh, yeah, God was right as he as he always is. And uh, I went one night, one Wednesday night, and people were dancing, shouting, and and singing, and I, I you know, I thought, wow, you know, I could just I could really feel the presence of God. And um, the next week, I, I took my wife and my little girl, and you know, I was a bit worried a bit at first because Claire's a bit more quieter than. You know, and didn't mind the stand up, sit down, and the hymns. I mean, I love the hymns as well. Um, but we just seen Isabel just running up and down the aisle and jumping on the baptism pool because it used to be a big bang. And uh, she was forever trying to get up on the stage. And we were thinking, oh no, we're going to get thrown out. Uh, but we didn't, praise God, because, uh, you know, <laughs> see, I think the louder the better. And um, she was worshipping, you know. And so, yeah. Um, that sort of like you know that was that was our, our our journey and then and then being baptized as well September two thousand and seventeen I was christened as a child even though you know I wasn't brought up Christian um my mum mum and dad did so they they christened me but I I wanted to make that decision myself uh, you know it wasn't forced pushed on me nobody made that decision for me only me and between me and God. And uh, yeah, I was fully immersed in water and just, yeah, it was just amazing. And, um, you know, I just really, yeah, it was just, uh, you know, just a complete new life. And not to say that I've not had my struggles and, you know, my ups and my downs, but I know that, that God never leaves me. Um, he's always with me and I just thank God for that every day. Um and Claire was baptised too, and she was five months pregnant at the time with Isaac, and uh, could have been more, I'm not sure. Um, she's kind of holding some fingers up over there, so... <laughs> but you know what was men are like with dates and things? <laughs> but, um, yeah, and... Yeah, just just, just thank, just thank God. Um, now the transformation came out, I really, like, I didn't want to go to church. Didn't want to go. And then it started from me telling Claire to hurry up, get your coat on, we're going to be late for church, to to then to go into the, you know, to the stronghold. Um, yeah, and just a whole, and now, you know, just a quick finishing sentence, I no longer say that, and, you know, I don't say I'm an only child anymore because I've got brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters in Christ, and it's just, yeah, so many, and uh, they're just amazing as well. And uh, so I just, I just thank God. I thank God that he's... Um, He's always with us, and um, I just thank God for for my family, um, my church family, you know, yeah. And um, obviously now I'm um, I'm hope, hoping that I do serve God as a as a parish nurse, um, which uh, again, if anyone wants to speak to me about that, um, you know, please feel free. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll finish it there because uh, the last video I did. Um, went on for a bit longer and um, that was a practice run um, so I'm going to leave it here um, and especially while it's clean as well but yeah <laughs>
Thank you all. All right, speak to you soon. Bye now. Bye.